so, um, to get inspiration from what we had last time, opening crawl, how do we feel about it? Uh, oh, very articulate, Luke. I've got an idea. Everybody who enjoyed the movie, raise your hands. Uh, Rose, yes, you look unhappy. Yeah. I'm not happy in case anybody's curious. You're reminding me of C-3PO right now. I'm okay, not that you asked. Which, ah, that's a good... <laughs> yeah, I can oh, see Oh, yeah, that. yeah, yeah, he, he was like that. <laughs> yeah, he kind of skinny like him, too. Which, by the way, while we're talking of it, C-3PO was a cutie patootie in this movie. I enjoyed him very much. He was actually funny. All right, I'm the one who had something to say. Could I have had a more unceremonious death? It would have been so much better if the supreme dickhead would have just grabbed me by the neck and choked the life out of me. Slowly. Yeah, so that way you could have at least ejaculated before you died. I, I notice he's not arguing. But I would like to take this opportunity to let everyone know that tea with Captain Phasma is being replaced with tea with the f you, we're not dead alliance. Coming soon to The Force Awakens. Poe, what did you think about the movie? Yeah, I liked the movie. I liked it. I liked my character arc a lot better than the last movie, I'll tell you that much. I had better rapport with people. I wasn't staging a coup. People respected me. I liked it. I don't know why everyone's so f***ing pissed off. Oh, yeah, there was the whole lack of Finn and I in a relationship, even though there was some tension there. Oh, oh, and did you notice um, at the end of the movie when we, like, hug each other, I've got a good grip on your neck. Yeah, if there were going to be a kiss, it would have been right there. Oh, yeah, you could feel it. There was the chemistry. And it's like... We can't do it in front of everybody, buddy. We have to go find a closet to get into so we can pucker up and give some <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, they ain't ready for that in Disneyland. Bow, bow, tick, tick, bow, bow. Oh, yeah. But you don't put it back in your pants. Finn, got anything to add? Um, yeah, suddenly I'm force sensitive. And, um, yeah, I thought maybe I screamed Ray of... A couple too many times. Yeah, I was okay with the movie. Except for one little thing. May I draw your attention to that poster up above my head? Wow, we're coming full circle, huh? You're, you're really going to pull the jealousy card? Are you surprised? How many times did I shout, Ray, 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 no, Ray? Buddy, 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 he just brought her back from being dead. Even if she hadn't had the hots for him previously, which I think we all know she did. He just resurrected her like he was Jesus f***ing Christ or something. Of course her panties were wet. How dare you speak of my panties? And for your information, they were wet because I just died and urinated myself. Okay, we should uh, let everybody know when we speak of ourselves, when we say I did this and I, we're speaking of the Star Wars canon version of ourselves because we are the farce version of ourselves. Yep. So whatever happened in that movie doesn't really affect us. Nope, we're all the same. It's almost like you're watching your evil twin. Yeah, so just to clear that up. Luke, my brother. Someone who looks like he's smiling ear to ear. Who's been to the hair salon. I thought the movie was great. Thank you, Luke. You're welcome. So what did you think of the movie? I mean, uh, I, I mean, I feel like, well, um... Uh, I think a lot of people share your sentiment. The thing that I'm the most confused about with my character is I, I reached out to Ben, unfortunately, right when he was facing off with Ray, 
that was the time I finally was able to reach him and just say, Ben! Just in time to distract him so Ray could stab him in the stomach with his lightsaber. Yeah, you distracted me so hard. I turned off and dropped my f***ing saber. Did that not tip you off, Ray, that something serious was happening? Just like he completely disengaged and looked away? No, all she did was, oh good, the saber, I can grab it now and stabby stabby. So I die, and we know that I die because then you're like, oh, Leia. So I had to have died. Now, I had stopped my Jedi training, so obviously I didn't fade off and, uh... You weren't at peace until I was at peace. But I never finished my Jedi training. Well, you, because you were worried about me. So then that was it. I'm good. But I never did the thing that I was supposed to do, which would have finished my training. Well, this is what it was then. Don't think too hard. It's Star Wars. Stop thinking. I'm not trying to think too hard. I just want an explanation. I just want to know what's happening. That's thinking. Oh, so Ben. Ben, my little Benny boy, who got the short end of the stick as far as I'm concerned. How did you like the movie? Um, well... I also have mixed feelings. Yeah, I would say. I thought I was pretty cool when I turned. I sure was pointing a lot in this movie. Yeah, even before you turned. Was that like just showing how conflicted you were? You were doing a lot of your dad's finger in the face of people. Hey Han, did you recognize a lot of your moves and your swagger in your son this time? <clears throat> it's like I was possessing him. So, it's kind of a shame that I had to die, because it would have been way more interesting to see what would have happened if I lived. Would I have been hauled off to the galactic prisons? Maybe. The whole, like, good guy army was there after all. They would have, like, hauled you up and I'd been like, no, he saved me. Does anyone think Ray's not pregnant? Uh, did I miss a really important scene in the movie? Force pregnant. I put my hand right there. He put his hand on my belly, like, you know, when, when men touch the, you know, the baby on the woman's stomach, his hand was there in that area by my womb when he brought me back to life. Maybe it's just, like, because the womb represents life. No, she's pregnant. Da. Ah, yeah, I saw your eyes light up. You didn't like me busting a hole in the she's pregnant theory. Even if she's not pregnant, she was brought back with his life force. So it's like they're both living in her body together, kind of. I, I wonder if she's going to be, like, uh, playing with herself a lot. I love me. I love me. I don't know. How did we feel about John Williams, the bartender? Who cares about any of it? You sure are a sour puss. This movie can kiss my ass. The lack of storm pilot can kiss my ass. The Raylo resolution and storyline can kiss my ass. And Emperor Palpatine can especially kiss my ass when I have really horrible gas. Wow. Well, I'm glad I'm not him. We have not gotten to my reaction. Yeah. Oh, you're going to skip right over me, old man. I thought you've been talking this whole time. Did we finish our thoughts? Who cares? All right. You want me to move on from what we were talking about? I have another thought, buddy. Not to poke a hole in the whole Raylo is canon thing, but... One could say, because, um wasn't a lot of lip movement with that kiss. I didn't see any tongue. If she was just so relieved to have been brought back to life that she kissed the person who brought her back to life but wasn't actually attracted to him, at the end of the movie, when she sees Luke and Leia together and she chooses the name Skywalker, it could have been more like you were her brother. I respectfully disagree. 
We all know you wanted to be with her. That was pretty obvious. You did look at her lips before she kissed you. She looked at my lips before she She was like grabbing my face and she looked straight at my mouth. Just because she thought it was funny looking. Poe, you're full of shit. I don't know. It kind of came to me. Saw them at the end and you're taking on the name of Skywalker, which means you're like a kid of one of them, which then would make you related to Ben in a whole different kind of way. I so want to murder you right now. JJ seems to be generally vague with a lot of things in this movie. And he's vague on why'd she take the name and what does it mean and what is that kiss? Is it passionate? It's, I thought it was pretty passionate myself. Your and mouths her, her, are not her, moving, though. You're just like... Mmm. Neither of us have ever kissed anyone, so we're probably not very good at it. Is your nose just like... The air getting cut off because it's being so smushed into her cheek. I mean, you're probably just like, I can't breathe at all now. Ooh, that's what killed you. She suffocated you. Yeah, well, uh... <gasps> I didn't kill Ben with my kiss. He was still alive. He laughed afterwards. And then his heart stopped. He couldn't take it. That I would believe more. Have you officially given your opinion? No, I'm responding to other people's opinions. Well, then, f***ing let's hear what you think. Um, I was pretty badass in this movie, and I liked all the humor. I think that Poe and Finn and I make a great team. But yeah, it, um, it kind of sucked uh, that Ben dropped dead in my arms, still holding my hand. Did you notice we were holding hands? Yeah. They said we were two, like both of our spirits were one. So I met my literal other half, and he died right in front of me after breathing me back from the dead. And I handled it very well. Like, real well. Oh, Ben. And look at you in that picture that's above Finn and Poe and Rose's head. Your emotions were very right. They were very right. And I just apparently brushed the whole thing off. Yeah, you came back. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Let's party. Group hug with my true friends. <laughs> oh, oh, is it my turn? Well, does anybody care that he was going to say I love you? And it was a tearjerker. Did anybody not cry? I didn't cry. I didn't cry. No, I, I... I almost did when I watched Ben tearing up and when you call him dad and your whole face Oh, that crumbles. was just so sweet. Ugh. Am I the only one that just wanted him to die when he was still a bad guy? You can leave now. No, oh, I don't think I will. I'm going to stick around just to be irritating, as is my role in the franchise, apparently. Oh, I would like to bring up a graphic to show the audience how our patrons felt going into the movie, what they thought their reactions were going to be. They were pretty excited. Well, they were very excited. And here's a follow-up poll of how they actually felt. I feel like maybe we need to set up a suicide hotline for some of our dear friends and patrons. Are we done? Um. I did really like a lot of the humor. There was stuff that was legitimately funny. Hey, I even had a funny line, word. <laughs> I, yeah, you didn't even get a line, just uh, ow. Your life has been one giant ow. But at least you got a kiss. And therefore must die. <laughs> this is what happens when a Skywalker kisses a Palpatine. You better not be praying that- Hey, look, we have eliminated, apparently, because all of the Sith was living inside of- Palpatine, and we managed to, like, melt his skin off. Did his spirit go and hide in a shoe somewhere? Yeah, what was all this? If you kill him, he would possess you. That didn't seem to happen. Well, no, because I'd have to kill him with hatred. And then Ben had said, if we both do it, we could kill him. I don't know. Well, he had already recharged his powers. See, this is what the problem is! Why? Why? Why is there an Ewok 
in my sequel trilogy. Because that's more shit that JJ had to shove in there. Get it all in, put it in the pot, get it all in, get it in, shove it, stick it, get it in! Ben? Why'd you kill me, God? Oh no, can't live, can't face the consequence, we can't show that in a Star Wars movie. Oh no, society couldn't handle it. You're not allowed to be forgiven and, and live. Okay, you didn't have to forgive me even, but just to live is too much to ask for. God! I know. It's okay. We're still here. Those were our evil twins. I liked your evil twin. And I liked yours. Your evil twin didn't get to experience it. Me. Her. You guys don't even know what you're saying. Shut up. I know I'm upset. Hux, wake up. Why? Good question. Go back to sleep. All right. We've reached the end of our review. I hope you've all enjoyed. We love you. We love you. Thank you. Look forward to continuing stories from our universe. And the Force will be with you. Always. Always. Good God, was that Snoke? Oh, it's just Han. I can see how my son would have gotten our voices mixed up. Don't start <laughs> talking again. 